What is up YouTube? Scrammy here, coming at you with another test for the Sonom XB8. Today we're going to give it a water endurance test. And just to make things interesting, I spoke about in my last video that I would see if the Samsung S8 Plus would come back to life. And it did. So now we're going to dunk that in the water too. And see how long they last. Will they both last? Maybe. Maybe they won't. But that's for us to find out. Here we go. All right, guys, we got our S8 Plus, and we have our Sonom XP8, and they're going to go in the water in this fish tank, and we're going to see what happens. We'll keep checking in every 10, 15 minutes or so just to see what happens. So as soon as I get this wiener dog of mine off my lap, we're going to throw him in the water. Stand by. All right, guys, here we go. S8 Plus, going in, sitting about right there. Looks good. Sonom XP8, same deal, going in. We can get her down there. Same deal, put the lid on. And here we go. They're both underwater, both going, and we'll see. We'll check back and keep checking until we find out what's going to happen. Here we go. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes or so. We're going to move this back and give a little click on the Sonom. Sonom appears to still be working just fine. How about the Samsung? And the Samsung. Look at that. Still going just fine. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it almost looks like there's a little bit of water getting into these phones. I don't know if that's just matrixing from the light, but yeah, this is looking a little interesting, about 15 or so minutes in, and uh, they both appear to still be working just fine. Just want to say that uh, both these phones are rated for submersion for a minimum of a half hour, up to one and a half meters. The Sonom actually takes it a little bit further, giving an IP69K, which gives it protection from a high pressure, high temperature pressure wash, basically. So besides that, they're both rated for the same depth for about the same time. Both companies overestimate the half hour so they could go a little bit longer, but yeah. Just remember, no phones are truly waterproof, just water resistant. And give it a little bit more time. We're going to keep checking these bad boys and see if any water truly gets in. Alright guys, so I just wanted to give a little more information here. But yeah, both phones are rated for a water resistance. But we have to keep in mind that both phones have been dropped. Both phones have been smacked around a little bit. The Sonom, obviously way more because that's actually been treated as a rugged phone and I've been testing its standards. So all of these things can loosen or move and make things not quite as resistant to water as they were. So both phones, it could be a toss up. I'm really not sure, but I'm hoping they both win out and we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that these ratings are based on a perfect, pristine phone, and 
Neither phone is perfect or pristine, so we're going to find out exactly what happens to them. Alright guys, we're coming into about a half hour check here. Move the lid back. Try the Sonum first. Sonum, still going. How about the Samsung? Samsung appears to be doing just fine as well. Something a little interesting to note here is all these air bubbles that are popping up. And I'm pretty sure there's water starting to get into that Sonum a little bit. Uh, certainly looks like it, but the screen still seems to be unaffected, so we're going to give it a little more time. Same thing with the Sonum here, or Samsung here. It kind of looks like water might be starting to work its way in. Again, this is the half hour mark, so this is when things are going to start to get interesting. Okay guys, about another 10-15 minutes gone by. Time for another check of the phones. First we go with the Sonum. And still looking, still looks good. How about the Samsung? Maybe, oh look at that. They're both working, both doing great. Again, just a few air bubbles here and there. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Is that what you think, Wiener? Yeah, that's exactly what you think. Alright guys, here we are, a little over an hour now. See how the phones are doing? Sonum seems to be doing just fine. Let's check the Samsung. Uh oh, let me see here. Oh, no, just needed a little more effort there. You can see the little water droplet popped up so it knows it's wet. But they don't look any worse than they were before. So that's a little over an hour. And that gives props to both phones here. And we'll check back in a little bit, find out if anything changes. And then I can say we can conclude this test and that they're both sufficiently waterproof. Alright guys, one last little tour around the phones here. Everything looks to be about the same. Still those same bubbles. So we'll give them one final check here. Sonum. Good as gold. And Samsung. If I can get the button. Look at that. Also good as gold. Okay, we're going to take them out. One. And oh, two. All right, we'll dry them off, give them a little closer check, and we'll see. All right, guys, so our final inspection here. 
the Samsung seems to be unharmed. I don't know if you can see this, but this Samsung has actually got lots of cracks all over it from abuse that happened to it prior. I actually sealed them up with some clear nail polish a long time ago so that my fingers wouldn't get cut when I was using it. But yeah, even with the cracks and everything else that's gone on with the Samsung, it's like like nothing. It went through that water. I thought for sure water was going to get into the screen, but no, it didn't do anything to it. That's impressive. Sonam, same thing. Good to go. I thought there was maybe water coming in the top, but doesn't actually really look like it did. So yeah, both phones, if you leave them in water, at least for a couple hours, they'll be just fine. So yeah, both phones, I gotta give them both the win there. Surprised by the Samsung for sure, especially with the cracks. So yeah, wanna drop your phone in the water and leave it there? That's fine too. Samsung and Sonom, no problem. Till the next time, guys.